आज ही डाउनलोड करें स्काईमेट मोबाइल ऐप पूछे मौसम का हाल अपनी पसंदीदा भाषा में और रहे बाकियों से एक कदम आगे वेलकम टू स्काईमेट वेदर माई नेम इज महेश फलावत वी हैव कम आउट स्काईमेट हैज कम आउट विद आवर मानसून फोरकास्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर साउथ वेस्ट मानसून फोरकास्ट अर्लियर इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी वी हैव स्टेटेड दैट मानसून विल बी इन द नॉर्मल कैटेगरी नॉर्मल कैटेगरी मीन्स द द रेनफॉल विच विल बी नाइन्टी सिक्स टू वन जीरो फोर परसेंट ऑफ एल पी ए इज कंसिडर्ड एज नॉर्मल कैटेगरी इफ यू सी द रेनफॉल ड्यूरिंग जून जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर द एवरेज रेनफॉल लॉन्ग पीरियड एवरेज रेनफॉल इज एट सिक्स एट दसिमल सिक्स मिलीमीटर दिस इज लॉन्ग पीरियड एवरेज एंड वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट इट विल बी वन जीरो टू परसेंट ऑफ एल पी ए दैट विल बी एट एट सिक्स मिलीमीटर इन द पीरियड ऑफ जून जुलाई अगस्त एंड सेप्टेम्बर सो द मानसून सीम्स टू बी गुड एंड दिस आर द प्रोबेबिलिटी ग्राफिकली इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड फ्रॉम जून थ्रू सेप्टेम्बर वी एक्सपेक्ट द मानसून विल बी चांसेज ऑफ मानसून विल बी टेन परसेंट एक्सेस मानसून एक्सेस मीन्स वेन द मानसून रेनफॉल इज फ्रॉम वन जीरो फाइव टू वन वन जीरो परसेंट ऑफ एल पी ए इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अब नॉर्मल मानसून and excess is if rainfall is more than 110% then it is known as excess rainfall so uh, more than 100, 110% chances of rainfall is just 10% and the above normal rainfall that is 105 to 110% is 20% and normal rain category is 45% that is 96 to 104% of lpa below normal is Uh, when monsoon rains are between 90 to 95 percent of LPA, that is known as below normal. This category is in 15 percent. And drought-like condition uh, will be when monsoon rains are below 90 percent of LPA, that is considered as drought. So chances of drought are just 10 percent. So excess above normal and normal. If we calculate it, it will be 75 percent. So the monsoon seems to be good. Now we will go through the month wise what is the average rainfall and what is anticipated uh, so this black line is normal rainfall and the this uh, 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 the the orange line is the expected rainfall so the normal average rainfall in the month of june is 165.3 mm whereas we think that it will be 157 mm that is 95% of lpa so june will be 95% of lpa a slightly delayed onset may be there but the progress of monsoon will take place and uh, the central india uh, south peninsula uh, will get decent rain but usually monsoon reaches in northwest india particular punjab haryana rajasthan in the later part of june that's why we think that the rainfall activities over those areas will be less than normal and northeast india will also suffer in the month of june that's why we uh, uh, we expect we are expecting it to be 95% of lpa in the month of Ju july the la nina will develop and its impact will be seen on the monsoon and uh, the no average rainfall in the month of july is 280.5 mm whereas we anticipate it to be 294.5 mm that is 105% of lpa in the august rainfall seems to be normal the average is 254.9 mm and uh, we think it will be 249.8 mm just 2% uh, less that 90 98% of lpa will be in the month of july uh, sorry in the month of august then uh, if we go to september then uh, la nina will be in the full fledged and it will be uh, you can say a decent la nina conditions so uh, september rainfall uh, seems to be excess that's why we think it will be 110% of long period average the average rainfall in the month of june and september is very less that is 115 uh, uh, 165 mm and it is 167 mm 167.9 mm uh, but the, the july and august are the rainiest month but in the month of september also we think that uh, it will be 184.7 mm in place of 167.9 mm so decent rainfall seems to be in the month of september as well if uh, we go month wise what is the probability of rainfall across india uh, month wise then in the month of june we think that it will be 95% of lpa 
द चांसेज ऑफ अब नॉर्मल आर ट्वेंटी परसेंट नॉर्मल फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड बिलो नॉर्मल थर्टी परसेंट नो चांसेज ऑफ ड्रॉट सो द अब नॉर्मल एंड नॉर्मल विल बी सेवेंटी परसेंट सो बट बिलो नॉर्मल चांसेज आर थर्टी परसेंट द नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एल पी एस सीम टू बी इन द मंथ ऑफ जून इफ वी गो इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई इट विल बी वन जीरो फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एल पी ए मीन्स फाइव परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा रेनफॉल इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई दिट इज वेरी गुड न्यूज द अब नॉर्मल विल बी प्रोबेबिलिटी इज जस्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड नॉर्मल रेन कैटेगरी विल बी अराउंड से प्रॉबलिटी सिक्सटी परसेंट ओवरऑल इट विल बी अब नॉर्मल एंड नॉर्मल सीम्स टू बी एट्टी परसेंट एंड इफ यू गो इन द मंथ ऑफ अगस्त दैन देर मे बी सम चांसेज ऑफ ब्रेक मानसून कंडीशन समटाइम इट हैपन दैट एक्सेस ऑफ मानसून ट्रफ सिफ्ट टू द फुटेल्स ऑफ हिमालय लीडिंग टू ड्रॉ ड्रॉ कंडीशन और ड्राई वेदर कंडीशन ओवर सेंट्रल एंड साउथ पेनिसुला so uh, the probability of this uh, we are considering that's why uh, we are uh, expecting it to be 98% of uh, average rainfall so the above normal is 20 normal is 50 overall 70% and it is will really be 98% of long period average in the month of august and september again as we think that la nina will be in full fledged uh, la nina will be there it will be more than 80% so that's why we think that monsoon rain in the month of september will be very decent and it the, uh, these rains will may spill over to in the month of october as well but the calculation is between june 1st to september 30 that's why we are considering it to uh, that uh, 102% of lpa but rainfall may continue monsoon rains may continue or rainfall may continue in the month of october as well but we have to wait and see uh, if we uh, see the rainfall of uh, september that it will be 110% of lpa 20% above normal uh, 60% normal that overall it will be 80% so june to september if we see what with the rainfall distribution across the country so it seems that above normal rainfall over central and western parts of the country and normal rain over northern and southern peninsula and that is uh, west coast of the country below normal rain over uh, northeast india and eastern parts of uh, the country say uh, so the jammu kashmir and adjoining areas uh, eastern parts of bihar east jharkhand uh, orissa and uh, uh, west bengal and northeast india Uh, there may be uh, some definitions in rainfall overall rainfall average rainfall in northeast india is very high since last few years we have seen that rainfall is depleting over that area although uh, rainfall will be very good but the average will not be covered that's why we think that it will be below average uh, this is overall picture of june through september if we go month wise then in the month of june as we know that monsoon will gradually progress up to no northwest india by the end of june it will reach over northwest india that's why we think that initial phase the uh, monsoon will be very good over kerala karnataka and uh, parts of andhra pradesh uh, some parts of telangana and coastal maharashtra and normal rainfall over rest part of the country except northwest india and eastern parts and northeast india uh, and if we go in the month of july so rainfall will be very decent Uh, rain activities will increase in the month of july and it will be say above normal uh, over uttarakhand parts of punjab uh, some parts of haryana uh, western parts of uh, uh, uttar pradesh northeast rajasthan delhi and some parts of madhya pradesh and west coast will continue to get decent rainfall uh, we have uh, shown the poor signal over uh, western parts of rajasthan and gujarat because models are not very accurate but yes Uh, we think that there will be normal rainfall over saurashtra and kutch region as well as western parts of rajasthan our eastern parts of rajasthan may get good rainfall activities in the month of july also uh, but the area of concern will be the some parts of bihar <coughs> sorry jharkhand and uh, chatisgarh odisha west bengal and uh, north east india however uh, south himalayan and west bengal sikkim and western parts of assam may get good rainfall in the month of july also in august we think that uh, rainfall activities will intensify over sikkim sovel west bengal uh, then uh, meghalaya and assam over parts of north uh, arunachal pradesh as well but n n m t in nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura uh, will be deficient and uh, again the eastern parts of the country will not get enough rainfall we have seen that this type uh, weather scenario is continuing since last uh, few years over these areas and uh, jammu kashmir and uh, ladakh may also suffer due to a, a lesser amount of rain however rainfall over uh, some uh, lower parts of uh, jammu kashmir himachal uttarakhand punjab haryana rajasthan many parts of rajasthan gujarat all over the places uh, will be in the normal rain category our coastal areas of maharashtra karnataka 
uh, will get above normal rainfall in the month of August. And uh, by September, as we know that the monsoon will be very good in the month of September. So also the monsoon start withdrawing from uh, northwest India in the month of September. That's why we think that uh, uh, Western Himalayas, Himachal Pradesh, parts of Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, West Rajasthan and many parts of uh, Rajasthan as well as some parts of Gujarat may not get enough rain in the month of September. However, rain activities will be descent over central parts of the country and many parts of uh, uh, Northwest, Central and South Peninsula. Kerala and Karnataka will again receive good rain and Northeast India, particularly Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura may suffer in the month of September as well. Although rainfall will be there, but it will not cover up the average rainfall because the average rainfall is very high. So, uh, uh, since last few years, we have seen the weather system which are developing in the Bay of Bengal, they have a tendency to move in westerly direction, leading to good rainfall over uh, parts of, say, uh, Andhra Pradesh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Chattis, South Chhattisgarh, Bidarbha, Marathwada, South MP, and up to Gujarat and South Rajasthan. So this time also we think that in the month of July and August, weather system will move in that direction. That's why parts of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh may get occasional heavy showers, including uh, parts of Gujarat and uh, East and Southeast Rajasthan in the month of uh, July and August, leading to flood-like situations in some parts. So we'll, update, we'll keep updating about this type of weather scenario because it is difficult to uh, uh, forecast at what time it will be uh, this type of condition will be there and uh, so that's all and uh, this is the ANSO report uh, latest ANSO report in this uh, you can see then February, March and April <laughs> early no conditions are very high uh, almost 100 percent but as we progress further they are early no is devolving and neutral conditions are uh, developing in the month of April, May and June and by the uh, beginning of monsoon, May, June and July, the La Nina will also develop uh, and neutral condition will start devolving. De de and the La Nina condition will keep on increasing in the, in the during the uh, monsoon period. The June, July, August, it will be more than 60% uh, then July, August and September, it will be around uh, 75% and August, September and October, it will be more than 80%. That's why we think that as the monsoon progresses, rainfall will increase. And uh, the, another factor which is Indian Ocean Dipole, it is also seems to be on the positive side, it is promising. That's why whenever there is a positive IOD, that it enhances the uh, uh, monsoon rains. So uh, we think that uh, this is the uh, model output. So in the uh, month of April, we are in the month of April, it will be slightly positive. And as uh, we progresses into the monsoon, it will be uh, say 1.2 uh, degree above normal that is positive Indian Ocean Dipole is expected to enhance the monsoon. Awesome जुड़ी सटीक जानकारी और खबरों के लिए हमारे YouTube channel को subscribe करें और bell icon दबाकर हर खबर पर रखें नजर.